with your day as well. I'm trying to force myself to be more energetic, or else my mental state won't be able to keep up. Ugh, my heart's thumping like crazy. I might as well have a laid-back, so what, attitude and go ahead with high energy. But be careful that your batteries don't run out for various reasons. And just like I say each time, don't forget to say it frequently. I... I never... expected the Funhouse itself to be the ultimate weapon. Oh well, let's just press on ahead. I, is it really alright to accept a situation so easily? You seem weirder. I mean, that's not what's important. The thing that's really important is... The killer who used the building structure. Like, who's Mekumaru's murderer? But is it really okay to believe the building is the weapon? Nagito said it, you know. There's no way I'd lie at such an important moment. I don't want to die either. What happened to the bastard who kept saying how much they didn't mind dying? He's right. There was a time when I thought I could become a stepping stone for your hopes, but I will sincerely retract that remark. Retract? I'm disappointed too, you know. If this was a murder for the sake of hope, I'd happily sacrifice myself. <laughs> you say such falsehoods, per usual. There is no such thing as murder for the sake of hope. Murder is simply murder. Forcibly sacrificing others for one's own desires, even one as diabolical as I would avoid such actions. I see. It's fine. Let's just leave him alone and find out who killed Coach Nekomaru as fast as we can. Just so you know, it's not like I'm getting hungry or anything, you know. You're not very convincing with that drool, Akane. Uh, Akane! You are drooling waterfalls? Nagito, as usual, I can't tell what he's thinking. I have no idea if he's serious or not. Anyway, if the killer used the building structure, why don't we think about how they used it? How they killed Nekomaru. It might be better if we clarify the cause of death first, don't you think? Nekomaru's cause of death, huh? He was horribly damaged, as if he was beaten senseless with a blunt object. But if he was beaten with a blunt object, it wouldn't be a kill that utilized the building structure. So, what was Nekomaru's cause of death that also utilized the building structure? Well... If it's using the height of the structure, it could be falling. I see. That good old fall damage. I think he might have died from falling. Died from falling? If the fun house's secret is that it's a structure where both towers and houses are vertically connected, then the killer made use of its height and caused Nekomaru to die from falling. Are you saying they pushed him off? Where'd they push him off from? That, I don't know yet. <laughs> Don't just make things up when you don't know the method. Where in that building would you even be able to push someone off in the first place? It might be possible in the tower. You could push him off the fourth floor when the elevator is on the first floor. Did you forget how the elevator functions? When it's on the first floor, the door on the fourth floor won't open. <laughs> Saying he died from falling is truly incorrect. You should burn in the flames of hell. Hmm. But my gut is going crazy right now. If Nekomaru died from falling, where did the killer shove Nekomaru from? If I'm going to reach the truth behind this incident, I need to solve that mystery next. When the elevator is on the first floor, you can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Hmm. It'd be impossible to shove off the victim from up there. Then, how about this? After locking Mekamaru inside the elevator, 
They moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor and made use of the drop. Hold on! Did you forget the elevator has a sensor? As long as there's a moving object inside, the other door won't open. Which means the elevator wouldn't have moved either. That must be the threshold of that elevator. I need to make it clear so they understand that Nekomaru fell to his death. Looks like it's all up to me. When the elevator is on the first floor, you can't go through the door on the fourth floor. It'd be impossible to shut down. How about after locking them up, they move the elevator and make use of the drop? Hold on! Did you forget the- As long as there's a moving object inside. No, that's wrong! With the goodnight button, Nekomaru is not, in fact, a moving object. That sensor should only work if something is moving. If Nekomaru wasn't moving inside, the elevator sensor wouldn't have detected anything. Could it be... his sleep mode? When Nekomaru's goodnight button is pressed, all of his functions shut down, and he enters sleep mode. If he's in sleep mode, the elevator sensor wouldn't have noticed him, right? I see. So that's how... However, even if they moved the elevator in that manner, Nekomaru would have just moved along with it. There would have been no drop for him to fall and die from, yes? That's what I was about to explain before Kazuichi interrupted me. Silence, pest! A whole new level low now, Kazuichi. Now you're calling me a pest? A way to create the drop inside the elevator while Nekomaru is still in it. Chucky seems to have an idea, but what way could that be? arrange it a certain way, you can cause the drop within the elevator. So you're telling us all to think about the arrangement, right? That arrangement is... The hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? What about the oil on the floor? The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. How about we all shut up and listen to what Chiaki has to say? Silence, pest! Don't be so cold. What if I start to enjoy it? If Nekomaru is inside the elevator, how can you create a difference in elevation? If you arrange it a certain way, you can cause the drop of- So you're telling us to think about the arrangement. That arrangement? The hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time we went- What about the oil on the floor? The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. I agree with that. With the wire markings, the wire is probably involved with the doorknob. Didn't the doorknob have scrape marks on it? That might have been where it got scraped by the wire. Is that the same wire that was tied around Nekomaru? The tip of that wire was tied into a loop. If the elevator moved while that loop part hung from the doorknob... If they, if they did something like that, he would have been suspended in mid-air! That's right. He was suspended in mid-air. Huh? The killer tied up Nekomaru with the wire while he was in sleep mode. Tied the tip of the wire into a knot and hung it on the doorknob to the fourth floor. With that, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor of Grave Tower. And suspended Nekomaru in midair. That's right! He was so well hung! <laughs> Kinda like... You better not finish that sentence! The killer took advantage of the elevator's unique feature. Only the floor moves. By doing that, they created a drop so Nekomaru could fall to his death. Too easy! So what if they created a drop? There's no way you can make him fall and die with just that! Why? If Nekomaru is suspended in mid-air like that, 
Mm, how do you get him to fall? Because if he's suspended in midair, he won't die if he doesn't actually fall. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a- How would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. It doesn't mean someone had to push him off. It's possible that he fell on his own. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? If he was sleeping, there's no way he could do that. <laughs> Now's the time if you but in that case. You still won't be able to explain that moving the elevator with Nekomaru inside is just impossible. End of story. Hold on. Thanks to Kazuichi, I think I figured out how the killer dropped Nekomaru. Alright, if I use that evidence, I should be able to break through Kazuichi's remarks, too. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Nekomaru should have still been asleep, alright? Allow me to cut through those words. What if Nekomaru woke up while suspended? What do you think would happen if Nekomaru woke up while he was suspended upside down in midair? What are you saying? Like, how would he even wake up? He has an alarm inside his body. As long as it was armed, it would have deactivated his sleep mode. Which means the killer set the alarm before they suspended Nekomaru. If you woke up from an alarm and realized you were hanging upside down and had no clue why, If something like that happened to you, you would start panicking a lot, right? Instinctively, your body would start moving. Nekamaru probably did exactly that. And then, in order to make it fall from the force he was generating, the wire was hung on the tip of the doorknob so it would easily slip off. In actuality, the scrape marks caused by the wire were near the tip of the doorknob, right? But Nekomaru didn't fall because the wire came off, right? He fell because the entire doorknob came off. When Nekomaru awoke, he must have struggled much more than expected, which caused the doorknob to break off. Was that unexpected for the killer too? Well, that's probably it. If they knew it would leave behind evidence like that, they would have at least tried to do something to cover it up. Killer didn't expect the doorknob to come off. The reason that even happened was because... In that case, I should use my full power! Ugh! The fierce roar, Nekomaru put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands. But... Nekomaru weakened that doorknob for us, unknowing that it would become evidence later. Comes the incredible strength of one million horsepower. Is it a creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. If that's really what it was, and that's the clue Nekomaru left for us to find. I see. So that's how Nekomaru fell to his death. Do you finally understand now? Yeah. It appears it's just as Miss Sonia said. I'm just a pest. No, I'm not just a pest. I'm a total fucking pig. Isn't that right, Miss Sonia? If I'm a fucking pig, you can say so! No, I believe you gave your all. Hey! Why aren't you teasing me anymore? Are you starting to enjoy it? This guy. He gets off on this! So thanks to that alarm, Nekomaru ended up falling while he was still hanging upside down. That doesn't mean he just crashed straight into the floor. Of course, you know that too, right? It doesn't mean Nekomaru crashed straight into the floor. The moment Nekomaru fell to the floor, the only thing I can think of that happened to him was... Well, before hitting the floor, he hit the pillar. I see! When Nekomaru fell to the floor, he ended up colliding with the pillar. Isn't that it? Finally, the pillar! So that's how the pillar shattered, and why oil was spilled all over the place. 
See, I told you the pillar was the weapon. My gut was totally right. Well, the pillar wasn't really needed. Colliding with the floor would have been enough by itself. Well, the pillar was a bonus. It's not even clear if the killer intended that, or if it was just a coincidence. Either way, it doesn't really matter. At this point, it is quite difficult to find a clue that will lead to the killer. Then what about the alarm? I'm positive the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m., and if we map it out from there... Hold on, baby gangsta! S stop calling me baby gangsta! What'd you just say? Did you say the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m.? You didn't check it yourself. Nekomaru's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. Nah, that's impossible. Because even though I slept in a little, I still got to the tower at 7 in the morning. N now that you mention it, so did I. There was no way I could be late for Monokuma Tai Chi, so I left for Grape Tower before 7 a.m. And if we found Nekomaru's body there, it would have been before the 7.30 a.m. alarm went off. It appears yet another contradiction has been birthed. How were you able to discover Nekomaru died at 7.30 a.m. when you went to the tower at 7? That's what I want to know! Another mystery I don't understand? Seriously, it's just one after another. But, I can't choke up at a time like this. Just a little more, and I'll be able to reach the truth. There should definitely be a clue to breaking through this contradiction. We headed for Great Tower. Before 7 a.m., I am certain. But the alarm inside Nekomaru's chest was set for 7.30 a.m. Nekomaru died because of that alarm, right? This time of death from the time the body was discovered. One of those must be an illusion. Killer probably did some tampering. They probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's chest. That's gotta be it! The alarm that caused Nekomaru's death rang at 7.30 a.m., but we discovered his body before 7 a.m. I need to crush one possibility at a time if I'm going to break through this contradiction. We headed for Grape Tower. Before 7 a.m., but the alarm inside Nekomaru was set for 7 30. Nekomaru died because this time of death and the time one of those must be an old killer probably did some tampering. They probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's chest. No, that's wrong! Nakamaru's clock was a radio clock. He wouldn't have been able to mess with it. No, the clock inside his chest was a radio clock, so it would have been impossible to mess with. So you're saying there's no way the killer could have tampered with a clock? Maybe the clock Miss Sonia saw was the one that got tampered with. The clock inside Grape House? No, I checked all the clocks inside the Fun House. Oh, that's what I asked you to do. So you really listened to me and checked all the clocks. And because of that, I can confidently declare that all the clocks had the same time displayed. If there's no possibility that the time was tampered with, then we must doubt that human's testimony. Please believe me, we are not lying! Then, maybe it's a misunderstanding? I never misunderstand! I'll crush you into dog food! Time to weigh a contradiction. I don't think I should doubt the testimonies. I should doubt the clock. There's no mistake that something was done, but... What was it? Perhaps we've overlooked something. Maybe we're misunderstanding something. Think. If I focus and think, I should be able to find the answer to that mystery. Yeah, yeah, no logic dive heading our way. How evil is this gonna be? Oh, one way to find out. It's not really the questions I'm worried about so much as the actual dive part. 
Because last year you've been really freaking rude. Alright, this is looking pleasant so far. What did, what did we misunderstand? It would have been the time in the building. Oh, doesn't this look fun? And even better! Alright! Look at these sweet jumps we gotta make. Second question? Second question. Which clock was tampered with? It would have been... Nakamura's clock couldn't have been tampered with. So it would have to be the building clocks. Oh, right! This part! Forgot about that part. Good, it's wonderful. Question three. Which house had the wrong time? Well, if they both had the same time displayed, naturally they both have the wrong time. It's all coming together. You said you checked all the clocks inside the building. Isn't that right, Fuyuhiko? Yeah, none of the clocks had the wrong time. But what if all those clocks had been messed with? What? All the clocks? So even if you checked all the clocks inside the building, there's no way you'd have noticed it. I see. So the killer messed with the time inside the whole building by changing all the clocks. <sighs> so that's what it was. There's no way I would have noticed that. This is truly fantastic! Now's not the time to be pleased. More importantly, how much was the time off? Don't even worry about it. 